We have more than 1300 known insect species that are constantly trying to steal our food produced by our hardworking farmers. And there might be several more. Out of those, there is one insect that might not be big in size, but its fame for destruction is beyond comparison, and that is aphid. It might look delicate and possibly incapable of doing any harm. Until recently, aphids were not considered as major crop pests because they had natural competitors like caterpillars for food. But due to recent introduction of genetically modified means GM crops that specifically targets caterpillars, aphid got an opportunity and attacked agriculture with their double-edged sword. One, by feeding on crops and second, by transmitting plant viruses causing huge loss, estimating nearly 2 billion US dollars per year. At the University of Queensland, the work is going on to find novel and sustainable solution to manage aphid population by using technology called RNA interference. In short, RNAi. RNA is a type of molecule that is produced from specific part of DNA we call gene. RNAi technology uses an anti-phenomenon to affect the target organism. Let's understand with an example. You must have heard the concept of matter and antimatter. When matter and antimatter comes together, they both get destroyed. Similarly, in RNAi technology, antigen A is produced, which is a section of its counterpart gene A. When they attach each other, it starts a series of events that lead to destruction of gene A. Now imagine if this gene is absolutely important for the survival of aphid. In this technology, the introduction of such antigen is naturally going to affect the survival without any gene modification. So how is it different? In this case, instead of integrating a set of components within plant genome, a part of target anti-RNA is produced and sprayed on the plant to trigger RNA interference. This concept of RNA-based biopesticide is gaining momentum across the globe. Also, just like antimatter of apple cannot destroy oranges, Antigene of aphid can be designed to have no impacts on other beneficial organisms. The specificity and flexibility of the approach are distinct advantages, and there will be no residue left on the crop, no runoff of chemicals to our precious waterways. Hence, it addresses the issue of community acceptance. As the world is moving towards clean, green, safe way to protect crops, Hopefully this technology will bring a new age of pesticide to save our food as well as our planet. Thank you.